is counting on alum Anna Duggar's house unfit for residence accounting on news suggested that Anna Duggar took her seven kids and went to live in a converted warehouse on the Duggar property. As it's really close to the main house, it probably means that Michelle and Grandpa Jim Bob can help to look after the kids. Additionally, it gives them a roof over their heads whilst her husband, Josh Duggar serves his sentence in Seagaville, Texas. But is the old warehouse fit for habitation, and do the kids actually live there? When Josh Duggar ended up sentenced to 12 years and 7 months for downloading child porn, his family's life changed forever. Before his arrest, Showbiz reported that he and Anna moved into a warehouse that he converted. Well, it turned out that he felt it would make for great family accommodation. Only, it turned out that it was actually situated on the big property that his dad owns in Arkansas. Counting alum Anna might not be able to stay there for very much longer. This week, the news arrived that Josh was served a lien against the property. However, he doesn't actually own it. So that might explain why Jim Bob Duggar was also allegedly served a lien for $50k apparently. When the courts wanted restitution, they used the address he gave them to serve the lien. Actually, a raft of problems arose for the family when Josh made his unfortunate decisions in life. Josh might have added some interior walls and things like carpeting and beds. Actually, it might seem like a good move, considering that he doesn't seem too flush with cash. However, Katie Jadov without a crystal ball on YouTube looked into it. In her vlog, she stated that there are three buildings on the property. One of them is the main house, enormous and well-appointed. However, another building listed is the 1,400 FT warehouse. Calling up the records, Katie noticed that it has never been listed or updated as registered for human occupancy. Naturally, as it is still solely listed for the purposes of being a warehouse, this might bring health and safety concerns for the counting on family. Katie talked about no sprinklers and no air conditioning. Also missing are updates on insulation and appliances. Naturally, TLC fans think that it might pose a danger to the kids. As Katie pointed out, the paperwork shows the place is zoned for a warehouse and not a place to live in. Counting on viewers who follow without a Seattle ball commented about the situation. Susan Oakley wrote, Yes, this has been my fear all along. Anna refused to allow CPS to interview the children. What the heck, a very weak CPS program in Arkansas obviously. I wonder why. Nanny Sunflower also expressed some concern, saying, No windows. It must be like living in a roaster in the summer and a freezer in the winter. I feel bad for the kids, awful situation. However, Susan Sheehy said, While Josh was out on bond and living with his guardians, Anna was there the entire time so the children were living in the big house. It was the same when he was away after the Ashley Madison thing. Anna talked about being in the girls' room. So possibly, the kids don't actually stay in the warehouse. What are your thoughts about the possibility that Anna Duggar and the kids live in a home unfit for human residence? Sound off in the comments below.